Welcome everybody to BCC Art Studio. I'm Billy, and today I am going to do a chain pull. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I have been practicing a little bit with it, and I hope you like it. If you're new here and enjoying the content, why not consider hitting that subscribe button? By subscribing, you'll stay updated on all the latest videos and join our community of art enthusiasts. It's a great way to show your support and never miss out on any of the creative adventures we embark on together. So go ahead, hit subscribe, and let's dive into the world of art together. Well, there it is. <clears throat> so, I have this cup of water um, with a cover, so I can actually just take these chains and put them in the cup of water. It helps to clean them. And I have a cover that I can use wherever it is. I can just take it, shake it up, that'll clean my chains without having to, you know, worry about getting water all over the place. Not my first one. I made one earlier just to test it, but getting better at it. So here are all of the coasters that I did. <clears throat> better. I will show you. I'm going to resin these so I will show you the results. Well actually I'll show you how I resin them and then I will show you the results of that. All right guys so I have 
The resin that I use is Clearcast 7000. This is from the Epoxy Resin Store. This is the Part B and we also have the Part A. This is one to one ratio. So I will mix that up off screen. And so I like to use little cups and I put tape on there so when I put my coasters on they don't move around when I am putting resin on and moving the stuff around. <clears throat> Also, before you resin your coasters, you want to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol or 99% alcohol, 98, 96, whatever, and you want to wipe these off just in case any imperfections are on there and make sure they're cleaned up a little bit. You don't have to rub too hard or anything. A little bit of stuff will come off if you know, but just to clean it up a little bit, make sure no no imperfections, no fingerprints, no nothing. Try your best to not touch them after that. <clears throat> And I will mix up the resin and be back. Okay, so I'm back. I need to put my gloves on. My resin is all mixed up. Nice and clear. I mean, there's a little bit of bubbles, but easy to get rid of. I could just let this sit for a little bit and the bubbles basically would disappear. But I'm going to grab my torch. I find it easier to get rid of bubbles from resin with the torch. It just seems to work better, I guess. I don't know. So we'll start up here. So that's why you got gloves. So I'm gonna just take my fingers and move it around. And that is also why I tape them off of the cup, or on the cup, I should say. So that way when I move this stuff around, it doesn't slide around on me. Now I did forget to tape the back which really sucks, but it'll just be a little bit harder to clean up. I'll have to keep an eye on the, the drips. Make sure you are, all your edges are covered. I will take my orbital sander and sand off the drips when it's dry. Now sometimes you have to do a couple coats because for some reason 
this one seems to be lopsided, but if it's not level or stuff like that, you'll you'll end up having to do it a couple times. So after you're done with it, you want to let them dry for, well I have a table here which it'll take a couple hours so I'll just turn my table on, my heating table. I'll put it up for three hours <clears throat> and it will be dried within three hours but you still want to let it sit for at least 24 hours so that it's nice and firm and then, then you can check your imperfections and stuff you can also use the extra resin to make sure that everything is filled in and I do not have a torch right now because it broke I couldn't get it shut off, so I brought it outside to let it run. So I'll have to use my heat gun, which, which will work, but I just prefer using a torch, so I'll have to get a new torch. And for some reason, I can never, ever seem to get my tables level. So, I mean, they're level, level, but they're not perfect. And they always seem to run a certain way. Time to do the torch or the heat gun now. I just don't like using the heat gun on resin because it blows it all over the place and blows it off. why I like the quartz when I'm popping bubbles. So there you have it. I will show you the dried results when it's dry. Okay, so I wanted to show you the results of the first layer of dried resin. Dry. And so I see I have something right in there. which is okay because I will sand it down and I will do it again. And then this one here, see the edge right here? The edge didn't get covered. Like I said, I will resin or sand them down and do it again. And then I will show you the finished results. So these are not completely dry yet. But I can show you the results. There's nothing different. Um, this one still has that edge right there, which I'll have to redo that one again. But all in all, it turned out pretty good. Well, thank you for watching. Have a happy weekend and happy pouring.